In this video, I wanna give you a little warm up that you can use before you're squatting. So the biggest limitations that I see are people fall forward, they can't feel their heels when they squat down, and people can't maintain a good spinal position to where all of their spinal joints, their vertebra, are um, stacked one on top of the other, okay? And so when I, when I say arch my back this way, I lose a lot of pressure forward and I can't compress everything. Or if I'm squatting down in my chest caves, same kind of thing happens, right? I lose the pressure this way. So first we need to figure out a way to move the hip and the knee and the foot and the you know leg in general while maintaining this good position. So most of my squatting warm-up recommendations are gonna be centered around that. First one I wanna give you here is an inchworm. So we're gonna, I'm gonna start back here and we're just gonna reach down, kinda touch your toes. If you're not as flexible as me, that's okay. You're just gonna walk out. Hands are flat, heels are down as long as we can. And I'm just gonna keep reaching till my feet start sliding too far. And then I'm gonna push myself away from the ground, keep my hips tucked like this. Now I can feel my abs a little bit better. And I'm gonna hang on to those abs while I come back up. It's kind of hard to talk while I do this. And then see if I can get my heels back down. If you can't, eventually, as you work on it, you'll be able to get there. But same idea. So you can do maybe six inches or so, and that'll give you a good abdominal turn on, right? We gotta tighten this up. So that's my first recommendation. Second recommendation that I like, my glasses are falling down after that, is a, uh, a reverse bear crawl or a backwards bear crawl. So it's a similar kind of thing. My hands are on the ground. And I'm gonna keep my knees on the ground for now while we walk through this. First thing is, I don't want you here set up like a bench press with your shoulder blades kind of back and together. I want you to push yourself away from the ground so that my the base of my neck here is as high as possible. And then I'm even gonna tuck my hips again with a little exhale. And there we go, now I feel my abs a little bit. And so then I can pick my knees up and I feel my abs even more and I'm gonna walk. Opposite sides, right? So. I step back with my left and with my right, my left foot and my right hand, and then I switch. So same kind of thing. What you'll notice, I want the same position, right? What you'll notice is when you step, lots of times people will fall down. They'll collapse with their arms. They'll use those big pec muscles instead of their tiny armpit muscles that are there for positioning you. So I'm gonna make sure I keep cueing myself and I'm gonna step again. And I tuck, still got my abs, good. Now you can break this up into different, uh, or into slower steps. You can freeze at each step to make sure you're pushing yourself away, make sure you have a really good position. And what you might notice is your voice gets a little deeper when you do that. Um, last one that I like, we gotta, we gotta learn, we gotta find some way to warm the lower body up as well. And I think, you know, if I'm trying to achieve a good squat, I want to maximize my range of motion. And so if I have trouble getting depth, one thing that helps is if I turn on some stabilizer musculature, some glute medius, some glutes to support me. And so my favorite one here for the lower body is a walking lunge, but I'm gonna turn into the front leg. Okay, I'm gonna take my opposite hand. I'm gonna reach on the outside of my heel if I can. I'm falling. I reach on the outside of my heel if I can. If I can't, I can come down to the front of my ankle. And if I really can't, I can come down to the middle of my shin. Those are three levels for you to sh shoot for, but the last one here is the best one. So what that does, turns me into the front hip, keeps me secure in that hip so that I'm using more of that musculature and I'm getting a, a good position of my pelvic floor muscles, okay? I come up like this, not like this, right? I come up like this, I'm pushing deliberately through the ground and I step for my next step and I turn again and I can even 
take a breath out, hold it, and then come up. Okay, so those are three for you to try. The inchworm, the backwards bear crawl, and then the walking lunge. And after that, you wanna make sure you get to your barbell and you do some barbell warm-ups and good luck.